As the Emperor's spies told it, Ceri had reached Novigrad. A lone attempt to find her in the Norse's largest city would certainly fail. But Geralt had friends he could count on. The Witcher decided to contact Triss Marigold. Triss could not help Geralt, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an oneromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. But finding me proved no simple task, for having fallen afoul of Novigrad's underworld bosses, I'd disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too. For indeed, I knew what had happened to him. Worried sick. Dandelion, you rascal. Got this lass to thank for his racing after you. She chivied and chivied. Shame you arrived too late to see us hoodwink that hunter. I had a plan all set, but then Geralt! Dandelion, I need to ask you something. It's important, so focus. Where's Siri? Siri? I thought, seeing how you're here, you haven't seen her? I... Well, I don't know where she is. I know you tried to help her. Gotta say, I'm having trouble understanding why you went to Horson Jr. of all people. No one else came to mind. Maybe, given more time, I'd have done things differently, but Siri said the Wild Hunt was on her tail. Horson seemed pretty harmless by comparison. Something went wrong. So you've heard everything. I hope you're not mad. You can't be. My plan was perfect. Until we put it in motion. How was I supposed to know Manga was after Dudu? Heard enough about your plan. Need to know what happened to Siri now. When did you last see her? We were on Temple Isle, running from Horson's men. Oh! 
What an adventure. One minute we were pulling off the heist of the century, the next we were prey. A pack of hunters on our tail. Yeah, a splendid story, but I think I've had my fill of this boasting. Come, Zultan. We must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all. Gave me enough material for a volume of ballads. And this one will sell like hotcakes. Right. Best bits when the guard draped you over his saddle like a sack of corn. Stands to make you a fortune. Time will tell. You're getting to be grumpy in your old age. I'm just... worried. About who? Siri? Have a little faith, Geralt. You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's got to come back for that little box. The trinket that started it all mean this you get it from Horson whoa Siri will be overjoyed Horson on the other hand's got to be pretty furious well he wasn't exactly thrilled hey while you were at it you didn't think to put in a good word for me did you something like I never intended to cheat him and if he harms a hair on my head he'll have you to deal with No, but I'll make sure to mention it next time. Oh, thanks. Adventures are great, but they can be hard to write up if you're fingerless. Which is not to say Horson would stop at that. What about Siggy Reuven? How's he doing? Fine, last I heard. Oh, that's too bad. Because I have a sneaking suspicion he might be a teeny bit mad at me. Siri ever tell you what this is? And Horson. Why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Horson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. What was Ciri's interest in this curse? Did she want to cast it or lift it, she tell you? She wasn't all that willing to talk about it. I didn't want to pry. The one time when it might have been useful. But I'm almost positive she meant to lift it. Off who? What? Or was it about her directly? No. I don't think so. I mean, she didn't look cursed. But boy, was she in a hurry. Know any more about the curse? Something specific? A detail? Anything? Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself. Probably not to forget. Went like this. The file Elaine, Kiadmil Foli. Gladiv Dorn Ep Tenaid, Bundro Isne Iakas. Doesn't mean a thing to me. Even less to me. Damn it, that's just not enough. Siri say anything else? Didn't say much at all, to be honest. Geralt, she's no longer that little girl who ran around Kaer Morin. Sure, she's still impulsive, alive, but she's also stubborn and sulky. <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from the tree, let me tell you. Right. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Velen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Doubt it. Talk to the Baron there. He's the one helped Ciri. Said she rode off to Novigrad to look for Yen and me. And Yen's in Skellige, looking into traces she thinks Ciri left behind there. So... 
Skelliger? Skelliger. You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandelion. And I'll gladly have a go at him when you're done. Let's get back to the Rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I'm owed. We haven't seen each other, talked, in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster, and this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So... If you happen to get a break between drowners and ekamajigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. Where do you get this cabaret idea? It's been a dream for years. Ever since we went to see one in Oxenford. Remember? The dancer hanging from the chandelier? And once she was completely downside up, she called you over and... I remember. How could you forget? And this place will be even better, I promise. That is, of course, if I can scrounge together the funds for some remodeling. How can I help you? I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Dear would never refuse his daughter Dear a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? You know, I bought that wine for a reason. Long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me. And then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena. One of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Ah, finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant, but any kind of plan is better than none. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, 
And your mask. Put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Tremble, flaxen-haired wench. Um, bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. More like the crimson asshole. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. Dandelion! I mean, crimson avenger! Uh, uh, you're better than I thought! The crimson avenger triumphs again. My hair! Are you well? One blow struck true. Another scar for my collection. Come inside. I shall bandage you up. Be gone, vile bandit, or the Crimson Avenger will beat you senseless! Just hop down for a smoke. Just your idea. Seems they can't decide on a color. There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today. So we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's raring to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peachy. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Why are you asking me? Well, the lovely lady seems to be having a hard time deciding. And Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. But that he'd let us know just as soon as we arrived. Now we're here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion would like. Geralt, you've known him longer. Say something. You're both stage artists, and cabaret's a form of theatre. Interior should reflect that. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Well, well. Guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. He'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. We talking about the same Dandelion? Man who loses a fortune worth half of Novigrad in one night? Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time, and he's never missed a performance. Sure hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. about Polly and her half-brained fiance they're fighting she's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography and that lummox won't let her work for me ho ho hold on what are you doing here we were gonna meet at the Rosemary we were but you didn't show Priscilla started to worry so I came to see how you were doing Priscilla started worrying about me 
That's so nice! Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? No idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait! Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. How would you know she keeps a spare key around here? It's not as if we started working together yesterday. Before Polly joined forces with Hubio... You'd visit her? Often? I'd hide out here while Priscilla and Polly rehearsed at the Rosemary in Time. They worked on the dance numbers I, I composed. So, Polly's not one of your... I never mix business and pleasure. The one exception being Priscilla. Who you were just saying is worried about us. So enough of the chatter and start looking. Fine, let's find the key. Damn it. Now where would she be? Ah, uh, the key. What the devil's this? Get out of my ass! Watch it, and leave the woman alone. What the f She's my betrothed! But I'm not your property! I love her! I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel! Whoa, slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass! Shut up, or I'll split your skull! My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right, talk. Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt. But its open saltedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of yous. Polly's not going anywhere. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very from a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say, coin? And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Oh. Suppose, in that case... I knew you'd agree. It's settled then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. Whew. Never expected that to go so well. You handled it well, Dandelion. Man was body in your hands once you called him erudite. In negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. So, time to head back? To ruin everything. We'll start an email. Well, well. See, the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. I love it. Especially the, uh, accoutrements on the wall. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! 
The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. Never mentioned wanting to change the name? Rosemary and Thyme wasn't all bad, but it conjured images of Temerian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret, apart from which it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Why not? That's my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And... she say anything about me? She said something that made me think she's not entirely normal. What? That you're responsible, got your feet planted firmly on the ground. You're pulling my leg. Not this time. One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Ugh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't... Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? She's late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time, you know. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. <laughs> Master Dandelion! Priscilla! She's... What? Speak, man! She's badly hurt! Uh, been attacked! They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital! Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please! Of course, let's go. Gods. Priscilla. Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. I beg your pardon, but you are a relative? Relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Gratz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery? Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week, a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt, I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Find him and kill him. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. Great analogy, but this tumor's not gonna sit there, wait to be excised. Appreciate the help, but I doubt you know what you're getting yourself into. I know perfectly well, and I assure you I can take care of myself. Easy assurance to make, harder to back up. Especially if you've spent your whole life wielding a scalpel, not a sword. Look at this scar. 
Don't be shy. Any idea what leaves such a mark? A flail. Morning star, maybe. What do you think? A blow sustained at the operating table? No. Let me repeat. I know what I'm doing, and I wish to help. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers? Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for, uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. So, preventive medicine you practice in the sewers. What's that about? Think. Sewing up drowner victims can grow awfully tedious. Is it not better to nip the problem in the bud? I tried to get the temple guard to enter the sewers, alas, to no avail. So I took matters into my own hands. At no charge. You damned idealists, ruining the market for us. Hear that? Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon. Straight, no sugarcoating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobritz. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. Take the ladder. Come, the quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. Or Reverend Nathaniel Pastodi. Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. That's gotta be him. But this one's a she. Remember, beards are no indicator of gender amongst wolves. Calluses on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood? Not a bit. Start the autopsy. Where? Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt. Like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes. And some grey dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. Let's examine the mouth. Burns. Blisters. 
just like Priscilla's. See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed, so thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Yeah, but why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. An egg from an amphibian. A salamander? Scorched but intact. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. I'm afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Open the abdominal cavity. At due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay, and why his throat scalded. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagore. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. All right, think I know enough. Enlighten me, please, because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. It's some kind of sick ritual. You saw it. Burns in the eye sockets, cavity where the heart should be, scalding liquid, all centering on warmth, heat, fire. A fire eternal. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy, but I see you've done it for me, Joachim. As always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted, drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. You old friends. Hubert taught me the rudiments of medicine. Long ago. And not very well. You've still not mastered certain basic principles. For example, that a doctor's role is to treat the ill, not save the world. You've not changed a bit. A compliment? No, a statement of fact. Thirty years, and you've not changed a bit. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate to Far Corners. That poor Trebirance was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in, under any circumstances. You did, but they're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? 
I will let you know. Hmm. Thank you. Nathaniel, who is he? A scoundrel, a rogue, like every man who wears the robes of the Eternal Fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. True in his case as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was a torturer, delighted especially in torturing women. Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the temple guard, supervises cremations, conducts funeral masses in the temple on the aisle, and so forth. Hmm. Dream job. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. Don't aim to press you. Thank you. I have nothing to hide. It's just an old wound, unhealed as yet. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. Bloody bandits! Can't go out in the streets no more! At least before they didn't to kill women. What happened to you? You Eustace, the corpse collector. I? How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian? Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no art. One of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. One of them? So there have been other bodies like that? Sure have. Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. One went so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Slippery Sal, they called her, on account of her. Some things are best left unsaid. What happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Oh, shame that was. Shame? Why? Actually, never mind. Another thing that's best left unsaid. You search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets, <laughs> made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mutant. Talk. What did you find on him? I, uh, I had you wish. Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I wipe off the right inner cell, it is new. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We short of wenches in this town. Get out of my sight. Now. Anyone home? Be gone, or I'll set me hounds on you. Molly, Striga, come! Relax. I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Sit, you stupid much. Lay down. Come on. Come on in. Slowly now, let's get by you. So who might you be? The Steph's brother. Das is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Hmm. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Tell me what you know about the murder. In order. In detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenfurt, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze, and found Fabian here beside it. 
They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbors. They see anything suspicious beforehand, hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. The Novigrad folk give bleat orphans in the street a wide berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. What do they care about some dwarf? Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? Nah. It was Fabian who threatened this one last. Why, oh, you were a good dwarf, a craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to following one in particular. He'd say, it's all your fault, dirty bitch, human dish rag. And other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. Know where I can find her, this dish rag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pawn said a fever took her. Fine, we've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Bloodstains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. Mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since... since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. More blood stains, but not near enough to say he bled to death. Unless somebody got rid of the blood, left a few stains behind. Humanoid. Completely rotten. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. A brazier, this time of year. Grab him! Sis, that him. How am I to know? Watch him, see what he does. That's him. Gotta get around him! Come on! doing here getting vengeance well why are you staring have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome for priscilla almost did her in the whole sun i know here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something fear i can't help you much but i can tell you what i know priscilla wasn't the sole victim you aware of that oh dearie of course i was this didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. 
recall any names. They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. Watch it, Tram. No regrets, not your stomping ground. Human. Priscilla's. Man's footprint. The murderer's, maybe. Weighed on his heel. Took a step back. I know that smell. Formaldehyde. Oi, Witcher! Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you. Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. By the way, you and Von Gratz don't exactly get along. Why is that? I had him sent to prison. You see, Joachim led the student protests in 1242. A senseless and brutal revolt. People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but... Alas, I had to do something. So I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim... Oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. How old's Von Gratz? Fifty? Sixty? Fifty-three, I believe. Why do you ask? You look a little young to have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years, I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Amusing, is it not? Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas. A lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Found this morning at his home on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment made of human skin. A message from the murderer, the name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Gods, he knows no bounds. To attack Lady Vagelbud, heiress of such a prominent family. Where is she? Tell me. She resides in an estate beyond the city, north of Oxenford. Gotta find her, now. What do you want? Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can... Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, we'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagel, bud. Just no trickery. Understand? Yes, good fellow? If it's work you seek, 
Don't know that I'm all that good. Name's Geralt. Looking for Patricia Vagelbud. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw Mother this morning. She seems sad, true, but in perfect health. I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even if it's true, our guards... He's exceptionally cruel when he kills, tortures his victims, cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is, just in case. I find this all very hard to believe, but you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. A fire fit for Bellatane, except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seemed sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in Hierarch Square, uttered not a word on our way home. She had all the holy books, insignias, reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. Hear that? Calm and quiet. All seems to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. We got him, Lady Ingrid. Wasn't easy, but... Lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running, thought it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Mother, why did he do this to her? Why? Because she blasphemed the eternal fire, only thing that ties her to the other victims. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body. A note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please. Bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name, but the place too. Won't get away this time. Sweet Nettie, where is she? Upstairs. But she's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. <coughs> no one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You, though? Whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again you disturb me. And I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with Sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. First, gotta tell me why you do it. For pleasure. Satisfaction. <laughs> Achievable with whores in a lot of ways. Many traditional. Doesn't take killing them, trust me. Who said anything about killing? I could stop at a few burns. 
third degree, but still. Mm, this rosy skin will roast quite well. Spare me your lies. I've seen your victims. I know how they end. You don't stop, not unless someone gets in your way. Like I'm doing now. What the fuck are you on about? Murder. You killed Fabian Meyer, Patricia Vagelbud, and many others. <coughs> Bollocks. You're mistaken, vagrant. Found a message on Patricia's body. Led me here to crippled Kate's. To sweet Nettie. If you didn't leave it, who did? I don't know. But I see we must talk. Calmly. Who knew you'd be here? Strangely enough, I don't announce these outings far and wide. There's but one man who... That, that's impossible. He treats him corpses with kid gloves. The coroner. Said you were busy, that you wouldn't visit the morgue. Gotta go after him. Go. But to Warehouse 12 at the docks. He's there this time of day, procuring supplies. Formaldehyde. I shall stay here. I've unfinished business with Sweet Nettie. After all, I paid in advance. Then you'll pay again. For her, for all the other women you've tortured. run out of formaldehyde. I underestimated you. You almost caught me in flagrante delicto. Now you've seen through my bluff with Nathaniel. Although, you've not divined all, I see. Had you, you would have drawn your silver sword. Who, what are you? A vampire. Higher, of course. Got a reason for killing? A reason to torture? Hmm. I thought you'd figure that out as well. The symbolism's rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the fire. The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. Fire down the throat that... Yeah, symbolism's clear. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire. Should be equally obvious. I concur with the Church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city. Its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. So I decided to remind them, in a manner they'd be certain to notice. You're a sick fuck. I never expected you to understand. You're a cynic and an opportunist. I sensed it from the start. Ah well. This conversation has grown unpleasant for both parties. We must move to the next item on the agenda. I last fought a Witcher two centuries ago. I do hope I remember how it's done. And you? Have you faced one of us? No, you couldn't have. You would not have survived.
better, right? Y yes Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah, the witch's way. Thank you, Geralt. For me and Priscilla. Did my part. Your turn now. Take care of her. Good care. I will. You'll see. Treat her better than the Dryads of Brokolov could. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe... She might even sing again someday. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. Yes, Geralt? Feel all right? Hmm, so-so. Why do you ask? When you slit Menga's throat, and then... You were fierce. Never seen that side of you. What would you have had me do? Conjure up a cloud of butterflies? Not what I mean, and you know it. I'm a little worried how it might affect you. Well, yeah. I'd probably relive it in my dreams if I wasn't already having nightmares about mages roasting on pyres. What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbud's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbud's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. What are you afraid of exactly? That it's a trap. On the one hand, it's an opportunity I can't afford to let slip. We need the coin. On the other... Nobody expects you to risk your life. I expect that of myself. The thing is, it used to be easier. When I didn't know what happens when the witch hunters get their hands on you. You could have escaped at any time. I know, but I was still terrified. What if they fetter me in real Dimeridian? You won't always be there to help. Don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Gotta be kidding me. He tell you to come holding a red rose? He doesn't mention flowers. But I won't refuse if you feel like giving me some. It's a fish market, Triss. Be able to get you some salted cod at best. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic. He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. Jerkins. Interesting. Yeah? Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you or was to me, sir. Want to talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise... Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. This one is not far.
What did they want from you? I've no clue. First time I've laid eyes on them. Maybe. Well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young Count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would come alone, miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the Witch Hunters. Aye, you're surely right, miss. I... It just weren't what I expected, since Lady Vagel, bud. Now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Vagelbud's valet. I... I meant you no offense, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Vagelbud meet with me personally? She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of late. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son. He's the... problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten wind. Wouldn't worry about the Guard. But since the Mage Hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vagelbud bought off the Guardsmen. But since the Hunters pay for every mage revealed to them... Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, and whispered a word to the Hunters anyway. Seems Albert needs to disappear, as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbud can slip out of the house unnoticed? Tain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly, wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vagelbud fears the help's being watched. It's a good idea. A boisterous bash. That'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, Milady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candied petals or blue roses from Nazaire. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Has Ingrid recovered from her mother's death? How'd you know about that? Took an interest in the matter. Well... Lady Ingrid didn't allow herself to demonstrate any weakness. At least, not in front of the help. Master Albert's safety is what matters to her now. I hope we won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. Guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, all right? Good luck to you. Think we can head there now? You're kidding, right? We have to prepare. Change clothes. Most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Eliel's shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me. took my request to heart. Mean you weren't being serious? Still got time to change. Don't you dare. You look great. You get everything? Everything's ready. We can go. A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. <sighs> Damn, doublets chafing my armpits. And it feels like they sewed wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. Well then, shall we go? Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbutt's guests. Your invitation, please. It's in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbutt in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Now, one more thing. Leave your swords here, please. Fine. 
a pleasant evening to you both. It's beautiful here. I haven't been outside the city in ages. How could you? Moritz, what are you doing here? Little Miss Miracle. Well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead? Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Who is that? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenthal. Tell you the story later. Yes, it's me. The trout buyer? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. Please excuse the precautions, but perhaps we could speak somewhere in private. I think we've met before. Oh, you're... Indeed. Well, I must say I feel reassured Albert will be in good hands. Let's get Albert. Where is he? Entertaining the guests. He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed enough to notice only the goblet-laden trays. Don't fret. It won't be long. How will we recognize him? He's donned a panther mask. He knew you were due to come for him. Seemed rather excited, ironically. I'm afraid he's not fully comprehended the danger he faces. As I said, he's not terribly bright. But don't worry about that. He'll fit right in with a good number of the other mages. Geralt! Let's go find him. I shall await word from you. Let's look for Albert. Those were the days. Now you... And then, a colossal boom! Mark my words, I'll kick him out. It's another night without that whore. Nothing! I leapt Let out of the way in time, again. naturally, and it merely singed my eyebrows. Alchemy can be a dangerous sport. Oh my! One needs the agility and reflexes of a panther. Rawr. Yes? Albert Vagelbud. No. <laughs> I am a black panther. Oh my, come! Your mom sent us, Mr. Panther. Oh, so you are. Yes, when can we leave the estate? Well... Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Besides, there'll be fireworks later. A jolly good distraction. Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden. We'll meet in the hedge maze. Be waiting for you there. Very well. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. Hope Albert hasn't forgotten the reason for this whole get-together. Wanna wait in the garden? I saw a nice spot there earlier. Relieved to get that mask off, if only for a little. Great view from here, and there's even wine. It's been so long since I've been to a feast, ball, or reception. Amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novograd. So, does this mean it's a good time to ask you about... Yes? About that mage we met earlier? Oh, Moritz. What do you want to know? How'd you meet? <sighs> Geralt, all mages know each other. 
Some are well over a century old. That's plenty of time to make acquaintances. In that case, when did you meet him? At a feast, long ago. He walked up and just blatantly offered to teleport us somewhere quieter. Seemed just like the type. Oh, really? At the time, to me, he seemed sweet. He actually pursued me for a while afterwards. Got the impression he doesn't exactly like you. I just think he'd love to have me as his charge, rather than his leader. See, but you're the one organizing the Mage's escape from Novigrad. Sometimes I have no idea how I actually managed to bring them all together. You're a charismatic leader, simple as that. You really think so? Absolutely. Next thing you know, they'll be calling you Iron Marigold. Could even wear an eye patch and it'd look right. <laughs> For a moment there, I thought you were being sincere. Of course I'm being sincere. Look at me. Didn't blush a bit. <laughs> Someone's coming. <laughs> Is it Albert? No, just some lost guest. Shh. <laughs> Must be looking for his beloved. Like in that elven tale about the frog and the lark. Inchu, inchu, beag broga. Inch by inch, little frog. <laughs> Shh, let's go. Oh. I sure hope the other guests don't get drunk as quickly as I did. Sooner we get out of here, the better. <laughs> oh, no. I plan to have a good look at this famous maze of theirs first. I hear the statues there are completely, entirely... Entirely what? Newt! <laughs> come on, Geralt! Triss, wait! Geralt! Coming? Careful. Miss Merigold, at last! So sorry we are forced to meet under such incredibly inopportune circumstances. You can say that again. But I'm sure we'll make up for it another time. I absolutely must show you my alchemical formulae. Anyone follow you? I don't believe so. Just in case, you two switch masks. We'll go first. Garrett will follow right after. Saddled horses await in the stables. Good. Meet you there. About this private showing. Under any other circumstances, I'd give you the full Monty. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I... Albert Vagelgood. Please, step away, miss. Nobility's known towards you, Count. Try anything, and you will get ruined. Doubt it.
Oh, I've begun to worry. Ran into some trouble. Hunters? Will they come here? No, we've got some time. But please send someone to the garden. Needs a little tidying. I shall see to it. And you must hurry. Everything set? Yes. Got your swords back from the guard. And Ingrid gave me the coin. It's, uh, it's more than I expected. Stunningly more, frankly. Excellent. So where are we gonna get away to? You? Nowhere. It's finally possible, probable even, that we can get all the mages out of Novigrad. You know where to find me if you want to say goodbye. Goodbye? What happened at the fountain? I'm sorry, I acted irresponsibly. It was the wine. <laughs> Too strong. No need to apologize. It was nothing. Yes. Nothing. Miss Marigold. We need to go. I know. Be careful. now and so should the rewards be I'm out of coin but you've got something else dear give us a necklace and get out of here stop I'll take it off myself Sorry. Didn't know if you wanted me to interfere. I didn't. Their behavior, disgusting, I know. But they deserved the necklace. They risked a lot just by sheltering me. I was worried about you. City's crawling with hunters. I know. We had everything in place. We were ready to sail. But the hunters moved faster. They locked all the gates, placed guards at every corner, all in one night. Then they started searching the city, street by street, house by house. They stop anyone who seems even slightly suspicious. Mostly it's common folk with rabbit's foot charms or lucky horseshoes. But sometimes they get it right. Arrest actual mages. How can I help? Everything's falling apart. I don't know where to start. I should get all the mages to the docks as soon as possible. Get them on board this ship. But Bertold and Anise have yet to show up at the meeting point. Bertold and Anise? Who are they? A young couple. He's an alchemist. Had a practice in Gildorf. She studied at Aratusa. I'm worried the people who hit them might have turned them in. See? My hosts weren't all bad. Won't be easy getting to the port. Lots of guardsmen in the streets. So we won't take the streets. In case of trouble, we were all to meet at the Kingfisher. There's a passage into the sewers from the cellar, and apparently those can get you all the way to the docks. I know the Novigrad sewers. Won't run into any hunters there, but that doesn't mean it'll be safe. That's why I'm asking you. I need you to find the way to the docks, clear the path for the others, and do it quickly. The hunters could figure out our plan any minute. Now you understand my predicament? Mm hmm. Help too and put all the others at risk. Or go straight to the Kingfisher, abandon the two to certain death. What do I do, Geralt? We should help Anise and Bertold. To write them off like that, it'd be cruel. Fine. But then we need to go now. Clock's ticking. Lead the way. This is them, just as I said. 
down. Hear that? She's into the Something's witchcraft going on. too. Good work. Take him. No, I beg you. We've done nothing wrong. Right. Hear that several times a day. What? Uh, what about my reward? Reward. Miracles. I'm the witch. Land on two pyres. No, you're out. You all right? Can you walk? I yeah. Yes. I'll not leave here. I'm no fool. Bertold. Have you seen what's happening out there? They'll catch us before we can reach the port. Catch us and kill us. We're going. Now. Go... going. Thanks. Stop. Hear it? There! Two more! Grab them! Have you checked the sewers beneath the Kingfisher? No. Didn't think we'd have to take that route. To think a year ago, guardsmen bowed to mages they passed in the street. Now we have to flee the city like rats. You could stay. You'd manage it somehow. The others will never make it without me. No guardsmen or hunters in sight. Everything seems in order. Or we're too late. Rescued two people. Yes. And lost one. Good thing we got here before they found the hatch, grabbed the others. This is not about numbers, Geralt. This is no time to mourn. Come with me. This way, Geralt. What happened upstairs? Is everything all right? No, everything's not all right. Geralt, wait a minute. I need to see who made it. Why the tears, my dear lady? You shouldn't worry yourself. It tarnishes your beauty. Guess you must have worried quite a bit. No, I was born ugly. You fleeing to Kavir too? No, but I am helping the others set up. You know me. Bleeding heart and all. It only start bleeding now? They've been burning mages for months around here. But only since recently on this scale. Besides, I look forward to having friends in Kavir. Especially among King Tancred's entourage. Triss is about to speak. We'll talk later. We've waited long to escape. Till we could make sure Kavir will take us. Till we could acquire enough coin to hire a ship. Till we could find a captain we could trust. We've waited too long. There's no more time for hesitation. We must leave Novigrad today. This is madness! Hunters stand on every corner. So we'll get to the port through the sewers. Geralt will clear a safe path for us. They'll catch us anyway. You'll see. They'll catch us and kill us. Perhaps. In which case we'll die with dignity. Weapons in hand. Not tied to a stake, begging for mercy. If the need arises, I'll defend you. You can also count on my help. Yes. The help of a Redanian spy. Right of its right-hand man. That was long ago, sir. You raised that madman. You taught him to kill. You... This is no time to settle past scores. End of discussion. Gonna enter the sewers now. 
I'll signal when the path's clear. You follow my trail, and don't stray from it, no matter what. I will go with Geralt. You, Dijkstra, go to the port and see that everything's in order with the ship. On my way. We'll meet there. I hope. Triss, really want to go with me? No offense, but... Offense taken. Stop talking and lead the way. I swear it. I'll drop magic for good. I'm gonna bloody get out alive. You can't. You won't. You've got Radovid and the church. Good luck. I want magic to Thanks for helping. No need to thank me. Really. No, there is. We don't know how much it means. To have someone you can rely on in this fucking city. It's alright. It'll be over soon. Mm. Soon. Damn it! No way through! All is lost! Relax. Maybe there's another way. Where? The passage is straight as an arrow, not a single fork. But listen, there's an echo behind the walls, and I can feel air coming in through the cracks. So, something on the other side? Mm hmm. Elven ruins, or an old forgotten cellar. Maybe we can get around the blockage through there. Can't hurt to try. Got nothing to lose at this point. A library? Look! Gonzalo de Verseo's poems. Jacob of Veraza's chronicles. It's incredible. Rare, first editions only. We'll come back for them later. No, we won't. I leave Novograd today, remember? I remember. Just having a hard time coming to grips with it. Come on. We should hurry. Triss, found an exit. Oh, for a minute I actually thought we were doomed. Speciality, remember? We've got nothing to fear. Depends how many there are. Down. We're right under the main square, next to Carlo the Cleaver Varesa's headquarters. Can't be a coincidence. His debtors have tended to disappear without a trace. Everything all right? A few bites on my feet and calves. Nothing really. Need to clean your wounds. Infection will set in otherwise. Later, Geralt. Let's find a way to the port first. Lantern still lit. Died recently, from bites to the neck. It's a catacan. A what? A vampire. Watch out for its venom. Steady source of income. Come on, let's go.
those eagles. Hear them? We made it. Come on. We need to ready the ship before the hunters learn what's happening. Finally. You bloody took long enough. Did you have time to look around? How's the ship? Creaky piece of junk. Woods rotting. Sails are prone to rip like an old pair of knickers. And the... Will we make it to Kavir? Provided you don't run into any storms. I'll signal the others to come. Need any help? Can I play the violin for you? Fetch some flowers or bonbons? What the hell's that mean? What? Don't tell me you don't plan to beg her to stay. Why do you even care? I adore love stories. Especially the ones that end happily ever after. Hunters! Hunters approaching! Board the ship! We want them alive! Extra. I don't know how to... No time for courtesies, my dear. Get on board. One last farewell. Thank you. I'll never forget what you did for me. And what we had together. I'll remember you too. Always with a smile. Miss Mary Gold! Coming! Take care. And give Siri a kiss from me once you find her. An ass. What? An ass. An oaf. A twit. Didn't even try to stop her. I had my reasons. Of course you did. You're an ass. An oaf. A twit. But even an ass can do the world a favor if one more enlightened tells him how. <sighs> Dijkstra, what are you plotting this time? What would you say? How many mages did we save, altogether? Dunno. Didn't count. Thirty, maybe, give or take a few. And how many would you say remain in the north? How many alchemists, healers, herbalists? Two thousand? Three? Doing a population count? Is that it? No, I'm concerned. In Novograd they had us, we were here. But who'll save those in Rimba, Banard, Ard Kareg? Gullet. You know damn well that daft bastard Radovid won't rest till he's killed them all. Every last one. Yennefer and Triss included. Moving as speeches go. Now get to the point. Why are you telling me this? Because I want you to help me kill Radovid. You that concerned about the mages of the world? Expect me to believe that? Actually, yes. But not because I'm sensitive or it gives me a heartache, true. To my mind, this systemic persecution is foremost a symptom of a far more serious problem. A madman rules Redania. I served Vizimir, Radovid's father, was his head of intelligence for more than two decades. Together, we transformed Redania, made it the North's most powerful realm. Any idea what made it strong? Its armies, I'd wager. And you'd bloody lose, you idiot! Mass mobilization? Inciting peasants to take up their scythes, straighten them? Where's the art in that? Much harder to build a strong state with healthy commerce, manufacturing, solid alliances, progressive science, and fair, independent courts that hand down just judgments. Vizimir and I managed to do just that, through years of fucking hard work. 
I will not sit on my hands as that little shit squanders that. Radovid the stern, my ass. Radovid the witless, I'd say. Will you help me, Geralt? I don't kill kings. Just not a regicide. Rumors to the contrary be damned. I know. I'm merely asking for your aid in organizing the assassination. Someone else will strike the blow. <sighs> Dijkstra. Might not have heard this, though I'd find that hard to believe. But witchers are neutral on principle, so... Oh, bollocks. That's a convenient excuse you lot try to hide behind every time the temperature rises. It's grown hot, my friend, and it grows hotter still. Pyres burn in every city. For majors, great and small, your female friends included. For non-humans, for witchers soon. Is that the North you espouse? The North you're prepared to live in? Silence. Cards close to your chest, I understand. To slay a king, it's not exactly some bloody necker contract. You think on this. Think on what I said. And if you conclude you'd rather change the course of history instead of riding its current to hell, you come find me. At the Passiflora in the garret. I'll be waiting with my mates. I'll think about it. So long, Geralt. Now, darling, don't be shy. Yeah, sorry, but I'm here to... Speak softly. I know very well why you're here. They await. This way, please. This way. Upstairs. Which your girl? Up you go. Boss has been waiting. Geralt, you're here. Good. Might have chosen a more secluded spot to plot an assassination. It's on everyone's mind. Many would like to do it so there's nothing to fear. Besides, this venue's got a tradition in this domain. Might even consider it fabled. Falka planned her revolt here. By extension, King Vrydank's murder, too. Comparing yourself to Falka? Far as I can recall, no one in Redania's annals has a bloodier reputation. Her rebellion changed the course of history. That's what we have in common. In terms of blood, we aim only to shed Radovids. I'm pleased you're willing to play a part. Must admit, I wasn't certain you'd show. Came by, cause I'm curious. But you will help. We'll see. Need to know what you expect of me first. I believe you know my associate. Roach, you here? Retired intelligence operatives. We have a club. Defended a king once. Ready to assassinate another now? Not proud of it, yet. I considered all the options and found none better. Radovid's proven many times he only ever forwards his own interests. When Kedwin asked for help, he invaded. When I begged him to support Vizima's defense, he showed me the door. The war nears its end. We've come to a decisive phase. We must act quickly. I've no illusions. Only a dead Radovid means a free Temeria. How's that work? Seems to me Radovid is Tamaria's ally. Only as long as my guerrillas do what pleases him, support his troops. Once he wins the war, he won't acknowledge the previous borders, nor wish to restore them. He dreams of a northern empire. As long as he lives, Tamaria will never be free. But we didn't bring you here to bore you with politics. Radovid's a threat to Triss and Yennefer. Remember that. 
That ought to interest you most. All right. What do you want from me? One of our co-conspirators ventured out to meet an informer. He's not returned, yet the plan's success hinges on what he's learned. We've got to find him. And you're the best tracker around. Tracker, huh? Really? Anything else you can tell me? Where this associate was last seen, for instance? He's traveling as a journeyman. Itinerant cobbler, that's his cover. He was first to venture across the Pontar. Most probably did so via the Redanian checkpoint. With a man there who should know more. Calls himself Gregor. Let a Redanian soldier in on your plan to murder Redania's king? Ah, uh, you see? There are even some Redanians who cannot abide Radovid's policies. And when simple soldiers notice something's not quite right, well, then it's time to act. Fine. I'll talk to Gregor. Thank you. And try not to draw too much attention, if you can. Remember, the future hinges on the success of this mission. The future of Temeria. The future of the North. I know. I'll try not to fuck it up. See ya. We're counting on you, Geralt. Looking for Gregor. You found him? Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. Dijkstra sent me. Been expecting someone. Let's take a walk. Nice job decorating your guard post. By orders of our gracious and merciful ruler, the good king. What was their crime? One on the right is a Pella from a village nearby. Gave some bloke the wrong advice. Bloke's mates informed on him. Neighbor held a grudge against the one on the left. Accused him of witchcraft. Just humans at each other's throats. That's not Radovid's fault. Hmm. Who do you think set down the laws that mean folk hang for such offenses? Let's talk. Must know why I'm here. Yeah, he came through here on his way out. Didn't come back, though. Patrol went out yesterday, reported an abandoned cart a ways off the road. Aimed to go out there, see if it's his. Couldn't get away. Thanks. Good enough to start with. Farewell. Hold on. You got a pass? Won't get back through without one. Yeah, I got one. All right. Good luck. Thanks. See ya. Doesn't look damaged. Strange. Need to look around. Might find something. Speak no wrong. 
Oh, I'm the get Og and Pog. Og and Pog? Those your friends? Findering of great Og Pog. Human finder on big suited cart. Suited big like so. Mm -hmm. What did they do to this human? Og Pog man's cover to take. They're over. Do you eat him? Nah, no. Body man's, stringy man's, blah. Oggy make man's suited make. Fog, pog and rog suited make. You even need shoes? Suited on whom is it? Suited once og, pog and rog. Big lords trollers be. Like whom is it? So long. Troll cave must be nearby. This bugger's an old friend of mine. Bugger friend of dog! A whiz in soup throw! I'd make for an awfully veiny morsel. Right, true that. Just look at the plowed bastard. Naught but skin and bones. Well, gentle trolls, I time I'd travel on. You, uh, practice what I taught you. Give you a fucking exam next time I come through. Don't let no go. Tell her shit. Sit us down. Tell her suck cock shoes is big. I can see you've made friends. But Tyler needs to come with me. Blood nowhere Tyler go. Tyler shoes is big. But I need him. Tyler's here stay. You shoes is dot, og shoes is dot not, rug got not, pug got not. Tala shoes is make, Tala go. Now let's all stay calm. Tala will be back. He just needs to come with me. We'll uh, get some leather for your shoes. Listen to Garrel. He's telling the plowing truth. Look at your feet. They're fucking mammoth. Need a damn bale of leather to make shoes for them. Understand? Me and Geralt will get some cocksucking leather. Then I'll come back and make your blasted shoes for you. Shoes is pog for? And rug for? Two pairs for each of you now, pricks. Hmm. I'll go, but back come must. Knew you buggers were good mates. Sit tight, be back in a bit. Not a bit. In the fall of having children. Children aren't trolls, and vice versa. Besides, witches are sterile. Ah. Not changed a bit. Still tart as rotten rhubarb. Just happened to be passing through? Or did someone send you to find me? Roach and Dijkstra. Ah, you mean they've not forgotten me? That's nice. Though I am grateful you came to get me, Geralt. Must have a lot on your mind. All those monsters to kill. Heard you three are planning to do some killing of your own. Huh? Hey, tell ya? Clowns. Kinda. Didn't offer any details, though. Maybe you'd be willing. Gesture of gratitude? Sorry, mate. If they were mum, I've got to be mum. <sighs> be that way. How'd you even wind up out here? Nilfgaard occupied land now. You saying the black ones have no use for cobblers? Probably brought their own. Brought fuck all, as I see it. Amateurs in uniform. 
you'll not find a better cobbler than Tala anywhere in the north. Yeah, right. You doubt me? You're a spy, and you're working with Roach and Dijkstra now. Doubt you went out there to fix Nilfgaardian boots. Ah, oh, I see you've thought about this. I admit it. Cobbler acts my cover. Who takes an interest in cobblers? No one. You sit there, doing your work, hammering on that soul, and blokes beside you talk. Bollocks, mostly. But sometimes, they say something interesting. Like? That's all I'm willing to say. Thanks again, Geralt. I'll take it from here. And I'll be sure to tell Roach and Dijkstra how you buggered Og and his mate sideways. As I see it, they'll be so impressed they'll shit themselves. So what'll you do now? What do you mean? Head back to Novigrad. Dijkstra, Roach and I have got a master plan to set in motion. I'll ask again. Details. Forgive me, mate. I'm plowing calm. See, were it just up to me, I'd spill it loud and proud. You're trustworthy like no one else I know. But I'm not on my own, so blooming unilateral decisions are out of the question. Trap stays shut, I'm afraid. Right, gotcha. So long, Taller, and good luck. Oh, I could bloody use it. Radovid's won crafty ore with a clap. But we'll figure a way round that twat. Soon the old bloody North will be blathering about how he got fucked. Careful it's not also blathering about three assassins, drawn and quartered. <laughs> Fear not, Geralt. We know what we're doing. Farewell. Natter. I, her. That's right. I, a woman, am captain. Shocking as shit, I know. Need to get to Skellige. Not on this boat, you won't. Pay you well. The islanders live off plunder in the seas. Not willing to risk that. Ever sailed there? Listen, the islanders attack all ships. When they hate someone, Nilfgaard, for instance, they attack him more. But truth be told, not much more. Lord did me once. Expect they wanted to see if I had Captain's bollocks. That spot of fun gave me enough Skelliger for a lifetime. That's a miracle you came back at all. Not all of those deep, bloody pirates. You captain of this tub? What's it to you? I'm Skellige bound. Need to get there. Start swimming. Islanders, the black ones, all attackers in those waters. No one sails the route these days. Come on. Clans are ready to deal. Leave you alone if you do. Someone's done it. Gotta have. Not likely. Except maybe that daft bastard Wolverstun from the Atropos. A liar, a thief, and a bugger, that one. He might have parlayed with the sea swine. Where can I find him? In a pigsty most times. Others, the Golden Sturgeon. Ask for Flask, everyone knows him. You, Wolverstone, captain of the Atropos? So you want to know if I'm Atropos, captain of the Wolverstone? No fucking clue, mate. I need to get to Skellige. My Atropos and me. We're due to sail for our Skellig. Carrying grain. But that's our shush. Got any coin? Here. That enough? Hefty sack. Like a bull's. When do we sail? Not sure you're ready. You can barely stand. 
don't know this, stranger. Captain Wolverston never sails sober. The sea goes one way, Wolverston the other. Makes the rock unbearable. So, ready to set sail? Let's go. Ah, uh, first, we must drink to the wind, to good fortune, and to the strength of my Atropos. <sighs> Anchors away! Back off, or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not a fear to die. See, I've landed on Ord Skellig. How you figure that? You're wearing clan on crate colors. Ord Skellig's their island. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah. Thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Ard Skellig. There's a witch at Kertrolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. That scorn I hear in your voice. You've good ears. Folks say this witch has got Croc wrapped around her finger. Orders everyone about. Word is she's vicious at it. But a hag's a hag. Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you'd think she was a beached orca. Fact is, even those who see her for a wench should gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. Yennefer's not all bad, once you get to know her. <laughs> Take your word for it. Know the way to care, Trolda? I expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long.